Hi everybody. Welcome to Ms. Miller's Fire Pit Friday. I hope that you've been having a really good week this week and that you've been doing some creative things at home but that you've been going outside as much as you can and enjoying your yard or a grassy area that you have near you. I know I sure have been. One thing that I've been hearing a lot are some particular birds that I've been thinking of and I would like to show you the bird. The smoke is going towards you, not toward me. Sorry about my fire pit. So here's what my bird says. I'm not gonna show you my bird yet and see if you can guess what bird I'm talking about. This is what the bird says. Can you hear that okay? The bird says, cheer up, cheerily, cheerily, cheer up. Let's say that together. Say, cheer up, cheerily. Cheer up, cheerily. I say, cheerily, cheer up. You say, cheerily, cheer up. I say, cheer up, cheerily, cheerily, cheer up. You say, cheer up, cheerily, cheerily, cheer up. Do you want to say it with this mystery bird? Do you know it yet? Some of you do. Let's say it together with it. Cheer up, cheerily, cheerily, cheer up. You have to say it faster, don't you? Let me tell you a little bit about this bird. It's an American Robin. American Robin. Do you see that? And here it is on the other part of the page. Let me tell you a little bit about American Robin. So this is a springtime bird. And did you know that it became springtime? It went from winter to springtime while we were here sheltering at home. It changed seasons. That's awesome. And the Robin sings in the evening and in the morning in the morning is the best time to hear it say, cheer up, cheerily, cheerily, cheer up. And it lays eggs that are sky blue. And when it gives birth to the little chicks, would the eggs hatch? When the eggs hatch, the little chicks come out and their eyes are closed. And it takes a long time, many, many days before they can open their eyes to see. Do you know what the Latin name is? For the American Robin, it's the best Latin name to know. It's Turdus Migratorius. I say Turdus Migratorius. You say Turdus Migratorius. It's legal to say that. And you can say that all you want. Now look at this. This is almost magical. There's the American Robin in the tree. Curtis Migratorius. Cheer up, cheerily, cheerily, cheer up. See if you can see American Robins this week. And if you do, email me and tell me about it at rmiller at corebutte.org. <laughs> so there's about the American Robin. Now I'd like to read to you, thank you, Mr. Miller. You're welcome. A book. And the book, let's see. Let me find where it is in my backpack. Oh, I don't think this is the right section of my backpack. I have here my compass, my emergency phone charger, and my California state fishing license. That is not the book. Not the book I wanted to read. Let me look in a different pocket. See if I can find my book in the other pocket. Well, I don't think this is the right pocket either. I have my pumpkin seeds for my snack and my kind bar. That's not the pocket with my book. 
Let me try this one. This one's a little deeper. I bet this is it. Let's see. Got my adventure hat. Is this my book? Oh, my trusty binoculars. We're looking at students and finding birds. That's not the book I wanted to read. Let's see. I have some books in here. I have a few. Let me see which one I might read. Some of my choices are um, Blueberries for Sal. I love this book. I don't think I'll read that one today. Oh, my childhood favorite, Miss Twiggly's Tree. I'll definitely read that sometime. Oh, this is a great one. This is called The Pumpkin Runner. And it's a true story about a man who ran a lot of miles, but he was really a potato farmer. Here's a book. We were tired of living in a house. I think this is the one I'll read because it reminds me of sheltering at home. Let me get my glasses on. This is a book from when I was a kid. So it's a hundred years old. We were tired of living in a house. By Liesl Moet Scorpin. The illustrator is Doris Byrne. We were tired of living in a house. So we packed a bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and woolen caps. And we moved to a tree. We liked our tree. There was always a breeze in the afternoon that rippled through our roof. Above in a branch lived a speckled bird who sang all day for the sake of a song. Maybe it was an American robin. And our roof in the autumn turned scarlet and gold. We liked our tree. until we tumbled out. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and scarlet leaves and gold. And we moved to a pond we liked our pond. We built a raft and floated about among the reeds and lily pads. Below, fish darted, dragonflies above, and pond frogs sang with us on summer nights. We liked our pond. until we sank. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend. And we moved to a cave. We liked our cave. We slept on beds of cool green moss. We hunted for blackberries in the woods. We dipped our water from the brook and roasted walnuts over a fire. When we weren't busy, we explored. We liked our cave.
until we met the bears. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun. And we moved to the sea. We liked the sea. We built a castle on the shore from salty water and warm sea sand with turrets and towers and moats about. We hunted for treasure and dove in the waves and slept to the pleasant songs of the surf. We liked our castle on the shore. But the tides kept washing us out to sea. So we packed our bag with sweaters and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun and seashells singing like the surf. And we went home to live in a house. Look how happy their parents are to see them back home. It's nice to be at home and we can really find a lot of things to enjoy at our house. And I hope you liked this book. We were tired of living in a house. Thanks for joining me on Fire Pit Friday. Enjoy your house, enjoy being at home and enjoy outside and look for American Robins and any other birds and insects or creatures that you see. I'll see you next Friday at Fire Pit Friday.